for repo products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Showcase and a brief overview of what the software is and what it's for. Here I am in Autodesk Showcase 2015. I have a Revit model that I have imported in from Revit 2015 using the Suite's workflow uh, method. There is a screencast on that that I did earlier, and if you just search for it, you'll find it. When we bring the Revit model into the Showcase environment, one of the first things we want to make sure we do is make sure the model is uh, placed accordingly. Right now, if you look at the model, it's actually in the ground and it needs, needs to be a little bit on top of the ground. So if you click this little arrowhead here, it will expand and give you the pull down menu. So you can click at and say set environment floor position. It'll pop up a window that'll ask you to move the model accordingly. And so I'll click move to bottom of 3D model. After I've done this, I hit OK and the model will get pushed up and placed accordingly. Now that it's up, uh, let's take a quick look at what's going on with the software. You have a very clean looking interface. The background is a grass looking field. And if I go in here and I zoom out using my wheel, and I go all the way out, what you'll notice that it's using an HDR high dynamic range image that has been wrapped around the in a 360 bubble, if you will. And that is to help set the environment properly. Uh, if you notice, uh, um, Autodesk Showcase is pretty graphic intensive. It will switch your Windows professional environment to a basic uh, environment because it actually needs to have that processing power. You also have in the Showcase environment the view cube that you're familiar with and the navigation toolbar that you're familiar with as well. And if you ever get lost in regard to where you are positioning wise, you can always click the house symbol in the view cube. It'll take you back to the default. As you can see that HDR range is pretty wide uh, and uh, it takes a second for it to process. You do have several HDR environments that come shipped with the software that you can pick and choose to switch. And you also have the ability to make your own, assuming you have uh, a camera that can handle high definition range images. So now I've already clicked the house symbol in the view cube and everything goes back to the default. There are a lot of tools that are hidden for you by default. And if you go into different menu pull downs, you'll see things like the material library. I can hit the M on the keyboard and it'll pop up. Or I can just go to the menu pull down. Once you've figured out where things are, you can start using your keyboard shortcuts. So as you can see, the materials in scene uh, dialog box pops up. And it's actually really, it is a box, but it's very transparent. So you can see things behind it. And you'll notice a list of all the materials that are in your software and in your current um, showcase project. You have the materials library here as well, it has showcase materials, showcase extended materials, and Autodesk materials, and then your own personal library. So if I expand the plus symbol under showcase material, you'll see the default case materials that come with the software. Now, uh, these are for the most part, you know, coming again, like I said earlier, from the uh, automotive industry. And so you'll see things like paint, see, car paint, and if you go to uh, extended materials, you'll see materials that are available for you to work with. You also pick Autodesk materials, and this is specific to Autodesk software, such as um, uh, you know basic materials like uh, carpet, tile, paint, things like that. So we'll scroll down. And again, like I said, the software is very, very taxing on the um, on your machine. I'm running Showcase in a virtual environment, so it's even worse because the Showcase the virtual environment doesn't allow me to use the full potential of my graphics card. Um, 
But if you're running Showcase just natively in the, in the uh, operating within a virtual environment, it'll be much faster than this. And then if you want to, you hit this little X here, and it'll close the material dialog box. You also have other tools that are available for you as well. So for example, under Story, you can click uh, Camera Shots T and create digital still camera shots of your uh, showcase. And so here I can click Create. And create a new still shot, for example. And it automatically captures the view that you have in front of you. It brings up the shots dialog property box. You can give it whatever name you want. It defaults it to shot one. You have different motion types as well. Cinematic, start to end, still. You have transitions, fade to black, animation, so on and so forth. And when you're done, you can just hit close, and it creates the shot for you. What I'll do is, in the next set of screencasts, I will go through each of the basic commands for Showcase. And so that's a, in this screencast, it's just a quick tutorial on the interface and how to get around the environment. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.